Hi there, everyone on YouTube. This is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. And uh, today I am going to do a, a quick mini review of a new product that I'm really excited about in the area of virtual reality. It's called the Zeiss VR1. And this is the uh, packaging here. It's the uh, VR1 made by, by Zeiss. And uh, as you can see there, I'm actually wearing it on my head right now. But you might ask, what is this, what is this funny thing I've got on my head? And why am I wearing it on my head right now? Um, well, actually, these are virtual reality goggles or virtual reality headset that you put your phone inside. And so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. It looks quite funny. And we can wear it over your glasses, which is great. People like me who have glasses. Um, so there, you can see I'm wearing it right now. And it looks kind of futuristic. And I don't know if you can see it. I can't really tell what I'm filming, but that's the headset. And so you see these holes on the side. That's where you put your phone in. And uh, I'll explain a bit more about it in just a second. So let me take that off. I don't know if you can see that at all. But I'll try one more time, just in case you missed it. There's the headset. And OK, I don't know if I was holding the phone right. But anyways, um, what is this thing? And why, why do I have this? Um, if you might have seen some of my previous videos, you might have seen some of my speeches and videos about virtual reality and how I thought it would be a really exciting technology to explore. And I do like being on the kind of like the cutting edge of, of media, so that's why I'm really interested in virtual reality. And uh, this headset made by Zeiss lets you put your phone in, and unlike Google Cardboard, it's similar to Google Cardboard, uh, which is made out of cardboard, which I showed in my previous video. The Zeiss just has a, a bigger field of view. So instead of 60 degrees or less on Google Cardboard, you get about 100 degrees. And of course, the human vision is more like 180 or, or something like that. But even still, it's it's way more it's similar to the Oculus Rift and the uh, Samsung Gear VR, which are other kinds of headsets you can get. But what I think is most exciting about virtual reality right now is that you're starting to see a bunch of interesting virtual reality films being released to the public. And the most interesting one of those is um, made by Chris Milk and his company named VRSE, which you can get on uh, both Mac, sorry, uh, both uh, Android and uh, iPhone with the VRSE app. I'll put a link to that below. Actually, Google Cardboard, which is the one I showed previously, this, this is this one. Um, when you put it on your head like that, it's, it's this one that has the lenses like that. This one was recently given out to um, almost a million people through the New York Times uh, print edition. And along with that headset came a special film produced by the New York Times and Chris Milk and BRSE uh, about refugee children around the world who were displaced from their home due to wars and conflict. And I just um, watch that film myself using the Zeiss VR1. If you have a Zeiss VR1, you can use it with Google Cardboard. If you go to Zeiss website and get the uh, a Google Cardboard barcode for the Zeiss VR1, go to the Google Cardboard app on your phone, scan that barcode, and now your your viewer will be optimized to be, for the special optics of this headset. So yes, that's a quick review. I, I find for virtual reality, I can use it for about 15 minutes a day before I start getting a little bit dizzy. And I, the first day I got it, I used it for an hour and then actually felt really dizzy, so I had to stop. So I recommend if you want to experience virtual reality and still not feel dizzy, you should limit your usage of it to maybe one or two sessions of 15 minutes a day, maybe once in the morning and then once in the evening at 15 minutes. That should be enough to learn about the experiences. I also have a playlist on my YouTube channel with a bunch of videos about virtual reality which I'll put a link to that below if you're interested in learning more. Um, as for me, I've, I'm really enjoying my 15-minute sessions every day with the Zeiss VR1. Uh, you can get a 3D printed tray that will hold your phone better in that hole on the side instead of just sticking it in there holding with the fingers. And that tray uh, will be available for many different phone models. I'll provide a link to that as well below. Uh, so that's the first opinions about the Zeiss VR1. I think it's a wonderful device, very comfortable to wear. The head straps are adjustable. You can even use your glasses inside the unit, like me, if you wear glasses. So um, very good optics, precision engineered uh, lenses. 
uh, way better quality uh, vision than you get with a Google Cardboard. But if you want to just dive in without um, spending a lot of money, the Google Cardboard you can get online for about $10, $20 if you want to start experiencing it, uh, and that's quite compatible. If you get the Google Cardboard 2.0, it, it'll be compatible with most uh, smartphones out there right now. Anyways, hope you have a great day, and uh, thanks again for watching all my videos. I hope you have a great one, and bye-bye uh, for now.